Flag City Honor Flight takes off again next week, giving local veterans a chance to see some of the memorials in their honor in Washington, D.C. I'm going for the 14th time on this memorable trip, along with our two guests here, Sandy, a Vietnam vet, and his daughter, Angela. So Sandy's the veteran, and Angela's going to be dad's guardian for yes. the day. That is so cool. Sandy, what made you finally pull the trigger and decide to go? Or, I understand you've been in a waiting list for a long time. Seven years. Seven years waiting list? Yes. Well, what took you so long? <laughs> Take a number and wait your turn. <laughs> yeah, it, it, we had a long well, list. I broke my femur in my right leg, and then we had the COVID. So just, you know, trying to get back into the system and stay there yeah. was quite difficult. Honor Flight did not fly for two years yes. because of COVID. That's so right. last year they took four trips to D.C., this year, four trips to D.C. We're trying to, to knock down that waiting list. It's just a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So was it always a, a done deal that Angela, you're going to go along with no, them? No, it was not always. It was a plan for us to always try to take a trip. So it just happened to work out. Um, Greg Panning, that's the board of the Honor Flight, was able to pull some strings so I could be on this mission with my dad. And so it means so much more. Like I said, I'll never be able to know what any veteran endured through any war, but to be able to experience the wall with my dad is going to be a mem memory I'll always remember for a lifetime. It's, it's going to be great. I'm just, I'm so very excited. Can't wait. Sandy, have you been to the wall yet? The only wall I've seen is that one year that they had the moving mall yeah. down there. Yeah. Uh, the park or whatever. And it's, even that is very impactful. Oh. It's beautifully done. A member of Chapter 35 of BVA and I'll tell you, then we had that storm and tore up the panels, and I, I, I just couldn't believe the support we got from anyone. You know, metal guys, uh, paint, whatever, you know, I mean, it was just, it was right there, boy, it hit home. Very cool. So Sandy was drafted, drafted, right? Yes. Into the Army? Yeah. And you served in, in how many tours in Vietnam? One. One tour. Long one. Yeah. <laughs> Six years. He was a sniper. A sniper. And uh, that and you've got what is bronze star, silver star? Yeah. Yeah, but who's counting, right? That's right. Yeah. They're uh, in a cigar box. That's where they're at. Are they really? Yeah. So uh, when you came home, that was not a good time in our country's history. It's a very shameful time on how you guys were treated. Yeah. Any want to share any stories about how bad it was? I got spit on. Uh, called all kind of names. Told me I shouldn't have been over there. Baby killer, and I wanted to react, but I didn't have none of my weapons or nothing on me except for a pair of fingernail clippers. And somebody threw a fresh dog poop on a paper bag on my uniform. And this is what's so astounding is, uh, yes, it politically it was a hot potato. The war was very unpopular, but mm -hmm. you were drafted. I mean, you didn't ask to go there. No, your, your country. but I just, I, I, my family history we got guys in the Navy, Marines, yeah. and all that. Yeah. And I just felt that I was honored to be in a family group that served this country. You serve your country well. Thank you. And here you are years later. You're going to have a great time because not only will you get to see the wall and get to spend a day with other Vietnam veterans, but you're also going to be welcomed home. You're going to be, you're going to be celebrated. You will be celebrated, Sandy Meyer. That'll be really nice to see. Thank you. Special for him to be able to go with you? Yes, this is great. Uh, it's a father-daughter trip, but, but you know, it's a way for me to honor my father, too, for all the years that he did serve in the war as a veteran. You know, like I said, I'll never know how he, what he endured or any veteran endured, but like I said, this is going to be a special, special moment for Here's us. Here's some video of one of the trips we've taken recently, and it's just a beautiful day. The memorials are just so beautiful. The World War II Memorial, the Korean War Memorial, the Vietnam Wall right there. So it's going to be a very impactful day and a lot of tears shed there mm -hmm. when we uh, go to the wall, especially since all those names of, of people who serve their country honorably and died serving their country. Yeah. All right. Weather is, thank, guys, thank you so much for oh, being here. You.